Hey, in this YouTube video, I will show you an Outlook program. So just go to Developer, Visual Basic, and that will open up the screen. And then double click this Outlook session. If you don't have the screen, View, Project, Select Application, New Mail. So here's the start of it. And here's the end of the code. You can copy this code from my website. So what this code does, the aim of this video is it'll test the name of the subject of any new email we receive. Let me just deselect any emails whatsoever. So you shouldn't have any emails selected. So what this will do is it'll test the subject of the new email. And then if the subject equals a specific subject, then it will uh, run this Excel code. So you can have multiple if statements and uh, you can have for any subject or any person that you want to send it to. So instead of a subject, if you just want to do equal sender name, so you could have it if you receive it from a specific person, uh, receive time. I'll just leave it as subject now because uh, that's what we want to work with. And then, so you can just have, uh, so while you're away at lunch and you receive an email, you can have your computer execute code while you're not there. If you watch my uh, connect uh, Outlook to cell phone video, then uh, you can actually have uh, your uh, computer send you a text message like, hey, you got this kind of email, and you could just remove confidential information from the email uh, or from the text message so that you can keep track of your day when you're not at your computer. This works as long as your computer is not sleeping. And uh, so over here, we got to count the emails in the box. So this counts however many emails are in the box, and it sets a N equal to that. So over here, this uh, we actually select the most recent email, which is N, because it counts however many emails are in the box up here. And this uh, selects the only the most recent one. In my Save All Attachments Outlook video, you could actually select all the emails. And this line, on error, go to line 10. I actually just go to line 10 up here, because uh, you get this runtime error otherwise, runtime error, blah, blah, blah. Um, because while you, when you receive the new email, this actually code executes in one second, which is faster than the email can load. So this just will send you back up here until the email actually loads. And then this just works on like the Outlook session with the variable mail item. So over here, we set message text. Uh, so we set this variable equal to the subject, and you could do uh, sender name and receive time like I said before and then let's actually just run this program right now so I'm just gonna send an email to this Outlook session and I'm just gonna say check Yahoo notice I don't have anything selected currently and I'm gonna press send so now I'm just gonna wait for this email to get sent so now we got an email called check Yahoo so now it opens up that Excel program which opens up my Google Pro uh, my Google Chrome and now it's just starting to enter in data into Google Chrome and uh, yeah so now it's just uh, running my Google Chrome program um, so yeah uh, yeah also uh, like I show you in my what, what, what video was that I show you in my Yahoo Finance video how to uh, run run a, a program that will check because uh, uh, all my all my code it actually works with uh, let me just I'm pressing control break so I could end uh, the code execution um, so all my code it actually works with uh, Internet Explorer and Google Chrome and all that uh, so every time like you're working in like Google Chrome and stuff you, I mean, you could control the mouse with my program. So thank you for watching my video. Take care and have a good day.